Morning guys, today I'll explain to you how we plant our seed maize. This is for Monsanto and the planter we've got here is the male planter. We'll only plant the male, male seeds. As you can see the rows are quite far apart. In this instance 4.9 meters exactly. So we've only got two rows here and that will be planting the male seeds. I'll explain that to you in just a bit. They jump every second line. So what we've got here, don't let the tracks fall in, we've got the, the male row. And another male row on the other end. In here we'll then have six female rows. The joining rows, basically what happens here, the joining rows get filled with male seeds. We've extended the joining row from a 76 centimeter to 1.1 meters, which leaves us enough space to put male rows in there, 55 centimeters away from a female and 55 centimeters away from each other. So yeah, we've got the first of three males planted already. That was four days back. Uh, put it in a clever way, it's 45 heat units. There's a fancy little equation that needs to be worked out regarding day and night temperatures, which we then use to determine the heat units. Now this is 45 heat units. Then we've got another male coming in, as well as the females. And another 50 heat units later, we'll then plant the third male. So over here we've got the female planter, it's currently loaded on the trailer, busy unloading right now. This will then plant the female seeds. Got the 1750 Maxi Merge XP, I've explained it in a previous video. Alright, let's got to get on with it. As you can see here, we've got the six rows that we just planted. We've got the one male row there. We've then got the joining row big enough to fit another two males. We're putting one male here and then one right in the middle there. And these are then the female rows. So this is the male planter. As you can see, we are adding the second row. First row is already in here, putting the second row there. And the third row will then go in the middle. Only planting two rows here. So here's what it should look like. You've got your groups of female rows. Six rows, six rows, six rows. So, on, depending on the split between the males and the females and whatever the case might be, I'll explain that in a little bit. On the first male planting that we do, we will add a male row there and one there. We'll then skip line number two, plant a male row there as well as one there. Five days, two days, ten days, depending on the split. We'll then come in and plant every other row, every second or every sec yeah, every other row. We'll put another male in there. And then we'll jump three and go on to four and so on to, con to complete the pattern. So when we come in, in and do the third row, We'll then stick one right in the middle there. Some, some varieties don't require three rows or you know, three different males. This one, however, does. Uh, that's the most we usually put in. So this one will only have two, uh, three males. Some should will only have two. Then we will make this joining row from here to there slightly smaller to only accommodate two rows. Yeah, we've made it bigger to accommodate the third row in the middle. 
So on the third planting, you'll come and fill in the middle row, which gives us one, two, three males in between each group of females. Why we do well, go through all of this effort is because males or maize has the ability to pollinate itself. The, just for a moment imagine that this is a stalk with leaves and a cob. So I've just removed the leaves for a while. Maize has the ability to pollinate itself. It will push a tussel. The tussel, tussels will burst for approximately five days and then it will shed its pollen which will then fall onto the silk which has come out of the grown out of the ear inside here we've got the seeds or kernels each one attached to one silk uh, this will pollinate and the ear will then turn into a cob which is where maize comes from but what we want to do is to cross pollinate two different varieties so right at the start of the tussle pushing on the female we'll remove it so she won't have the ability to okay sorry about that client phone me she won't have the ability to pollinate herself anymore this is where the male comes into the play in play because of all the variables involved in the whole situation, we've got two different varieties of seed that we want to mix. We don't know how long the female is going to take to push a viable silk. The silk needs to be long enough for the pollen to get there. We then give the male a strike rate of two weeks. At some farm somewhere they figured out that this is more or less going to take so long and this is more or less going to take so long so that is usually based on the middle male but they give us two males extra because of ver weather very Arthur will fix your fertilizer tomorrow okay so because of ver weather variables the different rates of fertilizer might have been applied this one might grow faster so we've now got two weeks spread of pollen to fertilize or to pollinate the female plant which cannot do it by herself anymore so after the male has done his job he's now also pollinated himself and this is still then a single breed we cannot use the male therefore and we delete him completely either feed him to cattle or just cut them down and work them back into the ground which is also a risk because we don't want the seed from this cob to mix with the variety that we have now produced on that side yeah and that's that and that is our seed maze is created uh, or well it's not seed maze it's cross breeded varieties to give us one specific need in a single maze that we require for specific areas or whatever the case might be. Thank you for watching.